Hi, I'm Chris from Driver Training, and in today's two-minute-ish tutorial, we're going to consider the question, what is zip merging? Now, zip merging is basically where two lanes go into one. Very often, you may see a sign at the side of the road telling you, like here, that we're going to lose one of the lanes. If we don't have the road sign, then nine times out of ten, we do have the road markings, which tell us again, two lanes are going into one. So this is where it can cause congestion. And very often a car will try and overtake. But again, as we look at this example with our road markings here, it's telling us that two lanes are going to go into one. So why do they do the road layout like this? Well, basically to help congestion. Zip merging is where the car on the left moves into the gap, the car on the right follows behind it. The learner, as the car on the left goes into the next gap, and then behind them, the vehicle on the right goes into the gap also. So it's literally how a zip closes, one side, then the other, and it alternates. The way it helps the traffic flow is like in our diagram. We can see that we've got two lanes of potential traffic here. Now, rather than have one long queue of six cars and an empty lane at the side, using zip merging means that that row of six cars becomes two rows of three. Therefore, you've already halved the queue length. There's three on the left, three on the right. Now, as they come down to the point where the lane merges into one, the vehicle on the left would go through, followed by the vehicle on the right. And the blue car, as you can see, would go, followed by the white, followed by the yellow, followed by the red. And what this does, it cuts down congestion time and queue length. Sometimes you won't even have uh, two queues of cars. It could be that you're just traveling and can see a gap. Therefore, we can see once the first three cars have gone into the merged lane, it makes more sense for the learner car to carry on in behind them rather than to stop back behind the red car at the back and form an even bigger queue. So you can see zip merging not only helps with traffic congestion, but with queuing time as well. So we hope this has helped you to understand a little bit more about zip merging. My name's Chris. Remember, drive safe, teach well, and we'll see you all again in our next video.